Why? Reboots! Reboots, my friend! Reboots. <laughs> what is old is new again. Movies, TV, everywhere you turn, you're up to your balls in old, outdated properties getting a hastily spit-polished uh, 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 sheen and shoved in front of a camera to quickly placate an audience hungry for junk that they already freaking know. Yes. Reboots! Reboots! America is going crazy for reboots, so let's discuss a few major reboots that are happening right now that are about to be coming onto our screens because there are some things I want to say about these reboots. I have a great idea for for, for a reboot. Okay. But first, we got to talk about two major ones. Number one, Will and Grace is coming back. Yes. I never really liked Will and Grace. And the reason why I never really liked Will and Grace was I felt that there was... In my mind, Will and Grace was the Big Bang Theory. In the sense that I felt that a large portion of American society is isn't watching the Big Bang Theory and going, yes, let's celebrate nerd culture. Mm -hmm. No, Americans are watching this and saying, huh, look at the stupid fucking nerds. Yeah. So I felt that a lot, so many people watched Will and Grace that it's like, okay, are you watching this film and realizing, wow, look, I am, I am gaining a newfound respect for gay people. Or are you watching this and saying, hey, that one gay is funny. Yeah. You know, I knew a lot of people that liked Will and Grace, but only because, oh, yeah, that one gay guy's funny. Like, you're not learning anything. Well, it, it. it's it's one of the shows that I had only ever caught a couple of episodes of, you know, like yeah. I never really watched Will and Grace. And, and that one gay guy was funny. Yeah. You know, but it's but it's interesting because Will and Grace um, originally they said, OK, let's bring Will and Grace back for 10 episodes and and uh, that'll be fun, you know, to, to get them to see the gang again. And, you know, I, yeah. I think people might like that. And then they went, oh, wait, you guys really like this? OK, how about this? We'll do 12 episodes. How about that? Oh, wait, you want more? Oh, shit. This reboot thing's kind of popular. So now it's 16 episodes and they've already greenlit another season. Yes. I despite found that the fact kind of that, interesting. Yeah, despite the fact that the show hasn't even come back yet. And here's the kicker. Here is the kicker. Yeah. The last episode of Will and Grace jumped into the future and showed Will and Grace, and they are older and in the future, and together they are helping to raise children. Okay. They're not... They're not in a romantic relationship. They're just two people who have a, a fond love for each other and they're co-parenting these children. And I thought that that was kind of cool. Like, Hey, we're, we're, we're a mom and we're a dad. We don't love each other and we're not doing it, but right. we, we, we are in love with one another and we've been together for a really long time and we are a family. And I thought that that was a wonderful episode. Anyway, that has been erased. Oh, so that they can so that, oh, yeah, Will and Grace, they're still living together and everything's the same as before. And here are jokes about iPhones. Ha 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 ha. Like you're you're erasing the last episode. Like, so what are you? So so you mean to tell me that like, a, the, you, I don't know, CBS can now just. Bring back what's the name of that Paul Reiser mad about you? Yeah. And now they're getting a divorce, and 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 you could just erase the last episode mm -hmm. of a, a series oh, if that's where they the got case, into the car what? wreck. Yeah, if that's the case, then God damn it, somebody better be polishing Scott Bakula right now. Because <laughs> God damn it, we need more Quantum Leap. Yes, because that ending sucked ass. We're going to end Quantum Leap in a way that doesn't involve. Uh, Sam Beckett in a bar drinking with God and never going back home. Yes. You bastards. 
Speaking of a reboot, I, is- I love that show so much, but it's not very rewatchable, is it? No, 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 it is not. No, it is. Every not. time I put Quantum Leap on these days, as I do from time to time, it's like, huh. I thought yeah. it was better than this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of reboots that are completely erasing uh, major parts of the show, Roseanne! Roseanne. In the next to last season of Roseanne, uh, Dan, the husband, had a heart attack and he was in the hospital. Okay. And the reason why he had a heart attack and he was in the hospital is because he made it clear that, you know, uh, 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 John Goodman was starting to become legendary actor John Goodman. Yeah. And he didn't need this fucking show anymore. So he did not sign and up really, for the last season. Imagine working with Roseanne. Seriously. Oh, God, yes. Fucking no wonder he would want to get out of there. Yeah. So he tapped out for the last season. So in the last season, it, it, the last season is one of those classic things that happen with the last season of a TV show where the showrunner and the show creator have left town. So the writers are like, oh, my God, the adults are away. We can do whatever crazy shit we want. <laughs> That's how uh, Rory ended up with Logan Huntsberger in that horrible, what, seventh season? Yes. Of Gilmore Girls? Mm-hmm. The last season, the creators of Gilmore Girls left, and so the last season was just shit before, before uh, Gilmore Girls came back with their own reboot. But anyway, the last season of Roseanne, Roseanne won the lottery, and she was jet-setting, and she was having all of these adventures and going all across the globe and having all of these fun adventures and stuff that were kind of unbelievable. Yeah. The last episode of Roseanne... That I love I re- Lucy Syndrome. Yeah. The yeah. last episode of Roseanne that I remember seeing is like, oh, God, I don't care about Roseanne. Nothing can make me care about Roseanne right now. There is nothing you can do that, wait, they're going to England and they're going to be doing drugs with the characters from Absolutely Fabulous. God damn it. Okay, I'll watch one Roseanne. Is that what's going to happen? No, in in one of the last episodes of Roseanne, they were partying with the chicks from Absolutely Fabulous in England. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, the family went on a vacation and next thing you know, they're doing drugs and drinking and partying and they got the chicks from absolutely fabulous to show up and it was a great episode but at the same time i was watching this going there's no way this would happen in real life this is fake and as it turns out i was right because the last episode of roseanne reveals that this kooky last season was all a figment of Roseanne's imagination that she had created to make herself feel better about the fact that her husband fucking died in the hospital. Oh. Yeah, it was it was such a horrible ending. Like, oh, this funny comedy, guess what? It's been a drama this whole time. Oh. And Dan died. He died of a heart attack in the hospital. Yeah. Like a real depressing fucking ending. Well, guess what? Roseanne's coming back, and so is fucking John Goodman. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know when the last time was I've seen John Goodman in anything, in, in, in all honesty. Seriously? Yeah, when was the last time you saw John Goodman in anything? He, other, other, was he in this movie? Yeah, he, he, uh, yeah. yeah. He was in Kong Skull Island. I don't know what I've seen him in before this. Maybe a uh, Red State. Was he in Red State? He was in Red State. He was doing a show, I believe, for Amazon for a while. I forget what the fuck it was called. Big political somehow. Yeah. Well, these reboots don't get full seasons. Yeah. So I'm thinking he's working it in. But yeah, they're bringing him back to fucking life. And another interesting can, can thing. Can he be dead, though? That would be awesome. That would yeah, be no, awesome. That would be awesome if he's like a zombie. 
they always did the best Halloween episode, so why the hell not? Yeah. The Dan best is Halloween. dead, but he's just a zombie in the house. Yeah. The best part about Roseanne coming back, the only real good thing about Roseanne coming back, the thing that I like about their reboot is um, Becky, I think her name was Becky, Yeah, the blonde daughter, was played by two different actresses throughout the show. Yes. Um, so in the reboot, they will be using both actresses. Yes, I like that. Yeah, like I like that. But still, you're bringing a dead character back to life. It, these reboots are really playing loosey goosey with the characters that you think you know and love, and they're kind of just fucking with them. Well, so, I, so I hope so. Just don't give me Roseanne again. Yeah, yeah. We've had Roseanne. Yeah, so let's discuss some of these uh, loosey-goosey reboots, okay? Yeah. So, Will and Grace, Roseanne, Nazis. Nazis. I was, I was not expecting that Nazi reboot. I was not expecting that. I, th- I thought it was going to stay in development hell forever. I it, it, The one thing that I hate about the reboot of uh, Nazis is the costume design. Like, back in the day... When Nazis first came along, oh my God, you've got these leather boots yeah. and like this 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 khaki outfit and these gloves, and you look like a badass. Now you're wearing like a like a khaki pants and a freaking polo shirt. Yeah, you know, you look like a freaking IT guy or an accountant. See, see, the the one thing I have to admit is I do like the look of a lot of Nazi stuff. Hmm. You know, because, yes, those uniforms were badass. You put skulls on your uniform, it's badass. Okay? Yeah. Uh, They took Art Deco to the extreme. Yes. You know, just all straight lines, sharp edges. You know? It's, it's, their whole look. You you if you watch the original King Kong, you could see very similar looks in the Empire State Building. Yeah. You know they took Art Deco to extremes, and it should have fucking stopped there. Yeah. Now these Nazis look like we need to make sure that whites are the dominant race. But first, honey, don't we have to go to Costco? <laughs> like that's Nazis now. Yeah. Like, the fun is out of Nazism. Mm -hmm. It's lame. There aren't any more badass Nazis. Like, a Nazi, you can imagine, like, in a Doctor Doom setting. Like, this Nazi, and he's got a globe. You know, this giant globe. And he's smashing his fist into it. Now, what are Nazis going to do? Go to Ikea to find a new couch? (laughs) I'm not down with the reboot of Nazis, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Wasn't expecting it. Not down with it. And it's Star very, Wars. It's very poorly scripted. You know, it is. And very yes, very poorly cast. Yeah, you know, cause, yeah. Because you you would not see Christoph Waltz crying after he did his part. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see know. that. Yeah. So Will and Grace, Roseanne, Nazis, Star Wars. I'm still not sure if i'm on the star wars bandwagon i'm still not sure no i'm still not sure about that they haven't gotten me yet it's no it's no fun star wars is just more of a drudge now yeah that's why i was excited that they're doing this han solo movie and donald glover's in there and uh the guys who wrote the freaking lego movie are doing this han solo movie and i was so excited and then apparently they were fired because wait a second you're having fun in a star wars movie and we can't have that yeah this needs to be grittier why are you all smiling and having fun this is a star wars yeah that might have saved me for star wars yeah because, like I say, give me a, give me a million more Guardians of the Galaxy. It's fun. Yeah. Um, Jersey Shore is coming back, which is sad. I don't know when the last time was that that society told me I had to care about Snooky. Yeah, it's kind of excited. 
having not mentioned Snooky for a long time. <laughs> um, this new Star Trek, I'm not excited about at all. Yeah, this Star Trek has not been doing much for me. I've seen all the previews and yada yada. Oh, yada. the show? I meant I meant the movie franchise. The oh, show, no, the is show not is not doing anything for me either, and it's so yeah. It's such a clusterfuck from beginning to end. I have watched a couple of videos on it. It's really just weird for who actually has the licensing to do what. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's all it's all complicated. So now the last word was is that this is actually yet a a a different universe. This is a different timeline. Yeah. Fucking for real? No, let's not do this. Yeah. So, um, Star Trek. Uh, Jersey Shore, Star Trek. Yeah. White Power. Yeah. That's another reboot I wasn't expecting. White White Power. White Power new shit about Art Deco. Not a fucking thing. Yeah. Saw is coming back. I wasn't I expecting heard that. that. Um, especially because, like, pretty much everybody's dead. But you know, whatever. I mean, <laughs> it, in horror movies, death doesn't mean anything. So, yeah. uh, what else? Uh, the Saw movies, the fear of nuclear annihilation. Lots uh-huh. of reboots, is what I'm saying. Yes, lots of reboots. Some good, some not so good. Yeah. Yeah, some uh, terrifying. So what I'm saying is, it's hard to get excited about a King Kong movie when there are Nazis marching in the streets, yes, inciting violence, spewing hate, killing a woman, and then millions of other white people are claiming that the Nazis are actually nice and peaceful, and one of those people is the fucking president. Yes. 